How's it going out there? This is Fiji Mine. And so China is launching a new space station. And so on the surface level, that might appear like they're doing their own thing. Now this goes into the discussion about how could there be all these space stations across the world and all these different countries if space is not real. And then the answer to that would be that behind the scenes, all of these countries are not necessarily opposing countries. They might, well, the theory is that behind the scenes, they're all united and the countries are to keep everyone divided and to not come together. And so it's been like that for a long time now. And so China has their own thing going on. But at the same time, China agrees to never go to the Antarctic and explore. Like all the countries agree that they won't go down to the Antarctic. And so that shows us that behind the scenes there is cooperation and a united understanding about what they can and cannot do. So we also see this example with the thing going around with the mask, you know, the thing that we can't talk about. Basically, that shows us that all of these countries are united in a common goal. Nobody's, you don't see a country really breaking away from from uh, that understanding. You might see some states that look like they're kind of breaking away, but you won't see, you don't really see countries doing that. And with the states that look like they don't, they're not necessarily going along with the system, that that's, let's hope that with these divisions and these leaders, let's hope that possibly there's some good leaders out there. And so with China breaking away from the ISS, well, the ISS is said to be retiring soon and they want to replace the ISS with, well, the U.S. is talking about putting something around the moon in the moon's orbit. And so what's with these countries deciding that they don't need the ISS anymore and with China doing their own thing and with the U.S. having plans to do, to do their own thing. Well, it kind of appears to me that there must be some type of call to action behind the scenes to implement a new space race. And why would they do that? Well, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, what would their goal be? I mean, I would think that if they want to implement a new space race, it could possibly have something to do with people catching on to them. You know, maybe they feel like, maybe they know the numbers, the real numbers of people waking up to the whole space thing. Maybe they feel like at this rate, eventually it's gonna be critical mass where too many people will know about what's going on with space. So now they wanna step things up possibly. Maybe that's what they're trying to get started is this new space race to get these countries to get bolder with their deception. Maybe they want these countries to really push the space thing further so that people, uh, to make sure people don't wake up, that's possible. Or there could be other reasons. I mean, like I said, let me know in the comment section, why would they want, why would the elite want another space race? Could it have something to do with a potential alien agenda? I don't know. I mean, it just looks like they're they're pushing for another space race, though, with the billionaires going in into, into space. And they're really pushing it harder now, harder than before, because I would think they would have wanted 
all the countries united on the ISS, and then they started all the countries started pointing their finger at China for the mask thing, you know, the thing we can't speak of. And then um, all of a sudden, the timing uh, shows us that now China wants their own space station. I would I would have thought that they would have wanted all the countries together on this one ISS that they can control and control the agenda and the narrative and the imagery, you know, and, and instead they want to branch off. Now for China, it's going to show their people that, hey, you know, our country's doing big things. They're in outer space. Behold our, our great country. And it makes people feel like obedient. You know, they feel like, okay, yes, they, they're in charge. They, they have this incredible technology. They can do so much more than the average person. Look at them. Look what they can do. They're in outer space in a space station. You know, then that that's kind of like the same thing they were doing back in the times with Eclipse. With the Eclipse, they would the leaders would have the people of their country witness them doing these rituals, and then the sun would go dark, and then they'd be like, it, it would look like the leaders had the power to control the sun, and then the and then the sun would go back. Um, light again and it would look like you know it's an eclipse but the people didn't know that they didn't know that the the leaders had the knowledge of when these when these eclipses would happen and it would make them look real powerful cuz the people of of their uh city wouldn't know you know they never told them that this is something that you can predict it looked like they had this all this power so with the space stations it, it makes the people real obedient it makes them feel like they the the leaders have all this power plus it really keeps on pushing the narrative of the heliocentric model and so like i said i mean with the heliocentric model that that leaves the option of the accidental big bang theory you know and it just w without that heliocentric model they don't have that option to say earth is an accident and that makes people start to question what actually we are then what are human beings if we're in a place that's created for us to live in that means what are we you know it makes people start getting into getting in tune with what people actually are and so to keep them from doing that they got this whole outer space thing where people don't you know like it just really messes with a lot of people's minds even subconsciously if even if they don't realize like even they could even be christians or anything creationists you know, just the outer space thing just opens the doors for so much things like planets and aliens and it, it really has a effect on people so this whole space station keeps people thinking about outer space. They keep continue to believe in outer space, even though at those levels of altitude, the space station would be what three to four hundred miles up. So, what two to four hundred miles up or something. So, at those levels, though, the temperature swings can get up to like a thousand to two thousand degrees Fahrenheit. So. It would be scorching heat, and it gets close to temperatures where metal would be melting and not functioning properly and stuff. So, you know, we, we can't continue to just believe that they're in outer space. Plus, we got all the proof with the green screens and the harnesses and all that. So we know that they want us to believe they can go up into space. And then they really, um, it really makes them f f feel more powerful to control people and people really give them that power when they think they can do things like that. So I don't know. I mean, is it possible that there's some type of division going on behind the scenes? Like, let me know in the comment section. Do you think that this is a plan to, to get the countries to get their own space stations? U S would end up getting their own, uh, you know, like, do you think that, there's division going on behind the scenes 
we we already see that there's even if they divide i mean behind the scenes they still they still have an overall um oath to each other where they know not to go to antarctica they know to go with this whole mask thing going on you know they, they there's certain things they know that they're going to do they know to keep up the outer space thing going on but like with the divisions i mean you do have like different groups like skull and bones you got the trilaterals you got the freemasons you got all these different groups that are all secret societies though yeah there's according to my research they're all connected some somehow like they're not just individual groups they're actually like behind the scenes there's different levels of each group and at the top levels of each group those people come together and work on more agendas so it's like with china is are they actually do you think they're actually branching off and doing their own space mission um their own space station do you think they're doing that like on their own and breaking away from the united behind the scenes group you know or do you think that china is you know they want this do you think that behind the scenes the plan is to get each country to get into another space race and comp compete with each other to uh, push this space agenda even further you know it could be kind of either way that's why i want to know i want to know your thoughts in the comment section like which one which one do you think is going on um so yeah i'll leave a link to this information about the space station in the comment section in the description box the link will um, show you a video where it shows you uh, more information about this Chinese space station I'll also leave a link if you would like to donate to the channel to help keep me on YouTube you can donate as little as a dollar and I'll also leave links to my other, to my other channels and to my social media so thank you for tuning in please like comment share and subscribe this has been Free Your Mind signing off